I hope you enjoyed your break. We are here at the afternoon of day two of the Global HR Forum 2021. From early this morning, we have had a great audience. We look forward to the audience joining us for the afternoon as well. Let us now go into the fifth special session. It will be by the head of Autodesk. We look forward to her presentation. Let us watch the recorded presentation. Hello, my name is Linnell Cameron. I'm the CEO of the Autodesk Foundation and the Vice President of Sustainability at Autodesk, and I'm thrilled to be here today with all of you to talk about resilience. I live in San Francisco, where we have these beautiful redwood trees. These trees live to be a thousand years old on average. That means they figured out what it takes to be resilient in the face of change, and that's the theme for today's talk. Now, the global COVID-19 pandemic and the increasing impacts of climate change has certainly been a wake-up call for many of us. Business as usual can't, con can't continue. We need to think differently about the world that we're designing and making. And we need to design for resilience, resilient workplaces, resilient homes, resilient infrastructure, communities, and cities. As we look to the turbulent decade ahead, one thing is certain to me. There's no reason to go back. In fact, I've eliminated the word back from my vocabulary because we must go forward and we must design and build for resilience at all scales. Let me provide a little bit of context. The world demands new ways, new ways of working, living, designing, and making things. Today, there are over seven and a half billion people living on Earth and by 2050, there'll be 10 billion people. That's unprecedented growth, 30% in 30 years. Now, along with this growing population comes a demand for more energy and more materials. For example, we're anticipating a 100% increase in demand for energy by mid-century. These ch changes mean that over the next three decades, we'll need to be building more structures and buildings per day than we're building today across the world, just to keep up with demand. And we need to think differently about what we are designing and making. Now, everywhere you turn these days, there's another extreme climate event. And the important thing to remember is that climate impacts are human impacts. With more frequent storms, heat waves, and sea level rise, the cost of adapting existing infrastructure may reach $450 billion every year for the next decade. Now, this week, many of you know that world leaders are meeting in Glasgow, Scotland for COP26, the 26th UN Climate Change Conference, and the goal, securing net zero carbon commitments by mid-century to prevent a rise in global temperature. It's estimated that the built environment, the construction and operation of buildings is associated with about 40% 
of total CO2 emissions globally, and the manufacturing sector contributes an additional 20%. So reducing the carbon associated with all of our industries and designing more resilient systems is going to be more important than ever before. Now, on the positive side, while the pandemic and the climate change got worse, there has been great technological progress. The digital transformation that's happening across our industries is accelerating our ability to actually solve complex challenges, leveraging huge amounts of data. The amount of data generated today went from two to 60 zettabytes. Now, one zettabyte is a billion terabytes, or enough bits to store about a thousand trillion books. That's a lot of data. Data is now everywhere, but with the right digital technologies, we can now make better decisions harnessing the value of that data than we've ever been able to do before, whether it's about carbon, resilience, health, health or reskilling a workforce. So why am I talking to you all about this? Because the company I work for, Autodesk, has a truly unique opportunity to help innovators like yourselves design and make the world around us. Autodesk is fundamentally a design and make company. Our solutions span countless industries from architecture to construction to film, empowering innovators in every corner of the world to realize their vision for a better world. From skyscrapers to smart cars, bridges to blockbusters, Autodesk customers are creating amazing things every day. And our role is to help customers harness automation so that they can use data to unlock actionable insights across their workflows, processes, supply chains, and industries writ large, creating the path to efficiency, sustainability, and growth for their business. So you might be asking, why are we an important player in helping to address these global challenges that I've just outlined? because it's our customers who are designing and making the world that we live in. And together, we can actually help create a sustainable world where net zero is the new normal. We can help create healthier, more resilient products and places that bounce forward, not back, in the face of significant challenges. And we can help create an equitable future where technology creates a smarter, not a smaller workforce. In short, our vision is a better world designed and made for all. And for that, we need to anticipate and prepare for this change, and then adapt to circumstances in the manner that provides the greatest chance of thriving in the long term. So what's the opportunity? Given the scale and magnitude of the global challenges we currently face, Companies are being called upon to do more, more for the environment, more for their customers, and more for the communities in which we all work. Climate change, ESG, inequality, these are all challenges across our industries. They're costly, they result in loss of productivity, and they hamper business growth. Now on the flip side, addressing these challenges is in fact a driver of business value by enabling low or no carbon buildings, energy efficient products, and zero waste construction. And this is why we care about these issues. It's good for business, it's good for industry, and ultimately, it's the only path forward. Now, the good news is around the world, innovators have already started embracing these digital technologies and the digital transformation. Let's see how they're applying innovation to actually build a better and more resilient future. Let's start with a great example of a company innovating how they use energy and materials. Last year, the Autodesk Foundation made an investment in a company called BAMCOR. This is a next generation building technology company that manufactures bamboo based structural building components. Now these components speed construction, but they also shrink a building's carbon footprint. The prefab wall packages that BAMCOR builds are not only two to four times stronger than conventional frame walls, they also sequester five to six times as much carbon and are up to 60% more thermally efficient. This actually makes these um, materials carbon negative. 
Now, investments in innovators like this have the potential to lead industry forward toward buildings with less negative impact on both people and the planet. This is the kind of exemplary customer that we need more of as we look to the future. So now let's look at a company that is designing resilient infrastructure. Infrastructure that actually stays strong in the face of natural disasters, that will last longer and be adaptable. So let's talk about water. Water is a big challenge as we look to the decade ahead. Many coastal communities are struggling to retrofit their waterfront infrastructure to accommodate uh, for flooding and sea level rise. One third of the Netherlands is actually below sea level and much of that country is at risk of serious flooding. What you see here is a 32 kilometer dam called the Ofsladijk, one of Netherlands key defenses against the sea. However, dikes age. This one you see here is 89 years old. And with the increasing pressure of climate change, it needs to be reinforced. The complex project includes raising and strengthening the dam with 75,000 innovative prefabricated concrete blocks like you see here, reconstructing the lock complex with two pump stations, creating access for migrating fish, and designing the bike path that you see along the top. More than 300 people across the architecture, engineering, and construction pro professions collaborated using digital technology to complete this project successfully. 56% reduction in carbon emissions, and when completed, this will be able to withstand a once in a thousand year storm surge. Another challenge related to water is water quality and water scarcity. Sanergy is another one of our customers supported by the Autodesk Foundation that's tackling this challenge. Around the world, two and a half billion people lack access to basic sanitation services, leading to nearly a million sanitation-related deaths every year. Poor sanitation costs the global economy more than $280 billion annually. And Sanergy is a company that's dedicated to building and scaling safe sanitation solutions. They provide opportunities for people to invest in these sanitation solutions for their communities. Community members can purchase a toilet, which is prefabricated, low cost, high quality sanitation stalls, and then they become the operator of these toilets. Sanergy provides training, marketing, support, and financing. And in return, the operators can earn an income by offering a, a really needed service in their local communities. It's Autodesk design software and our employee expertise that has enabled Sanergy to increase the amount of waste removed from communities and develop new products and solutions that address this critical challenge. Governments, be they in Netherlands, Hong Kong, or here in Korea, are also helping to create the conditions to create a more sustainable, resilient, and equitable future. Private and public sectors are increasingly working together and partnering to create a better future. We're excited to see new legislative proposals that help us achieve these goals, such as Korea's new Green Deal. With regard to the New Deal, I particularly appreciate the threefold distinct approach, the elements of the digital, the green, and the human New Deal. This legislation is a clear and substantial acknowledgement of the direction that we need to head. Seeing this across the world with the European Green New Deal, the Biden administration's climate agenda and more, the opportunity to digitize and to achieve sustainable outcomes together between public and private uh, sectors is paramount. And we need to do more of this at speed. As leaders in business, government, academia, and media, let's work together to create the future that we want to see. One where employees are a value center not just a cost center. Net zero becomes the new normal. Wellness is the new wealth. And infrastructure predicts the unpredictable. A, f a future where how you make is just as important as what you are making. And a future where technology creates a smarter, not a smaller workforce. And that's ultimately what it comes down to, the opportunity to deliver a sustainable, 
resilient, and equitable future for all those who come after us. Thank you very much. We at Autodesk look forward to working with all of you to achieve this future. 네, 여러분 박수 부탁. Thank you very much. A big round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you very much for that passionate presentation. With a new way of life, we now need to find various ways to respond to climate change. As you have heard through the presentation, the pandemic and climate change have posed difficulties for our lives, but at the same time, it also opened the way for new technological development. Now is the time to lead forward and also to prepare for a sustainable future. Let us now take a look at the roles that we should be playing in our everyday lives. Thank you very much for that presentation.